Hey everybody, welcome back. So, this is a little update for my USAC build. And, uh, I don't know how many of you guys thought that I might go this direction, but anyway, I am. And I kind of feel bad because, for the most part, I'm just using the body of the kit. But, hey, there's no rules that say you can't just use the body of the kit. So, there you go. Um just had to use this kit so um, this is that I printed that old mega truck uh, that I did the um, did the video on um, it was a uh, well I cut the front off of it but anyway it was this thing here it was all one piece the way it printed it was just one piece a bear to just get all the supports broke loose but then because it was all one piece to detail paint that would just be a nightmare uh, if not impossible so which is pretty cool i mean the chevy body and all looks pretty cool but anyway i thought dang because then we started our usac build and i thought what would that look like if i if i made a mud panel and uh yeah so that's the direction i'm going so my friend miguel over at hobby works he designed me a chassis because that one is is all one piece. I got that off cults. I didn't realize it was all one piece like that. But anyway, Miguel designed me a chassis that's all it's uh it's you know it's it's pieces. So you can actually like uh all the four links like I printed all these. These the, they didn't print right. Like my draft shot. I got something wrong right here. But anyway, I got to print some more. But anyway, the axles. All the four link bars are separate the shocks are separate the transfer case is separate all that stuff the chassis and then he built um built it where this blown 460 and this is a uh, uh the chassis and all this is sitting on it's also kind of a misprint so it's just one that i'm just gonna mock it up the engine was also misprint but i just threw it together just so i could start fitting this thing but uh yes that blown 460 ford and uh big old breather on the front and and that's all Miguel over at Hobby Works his work and it is amazing but I'm having a time with the uh, roll cage because when Miguel designed this for me he just kind of did a general roll cage it wasn't sized to anything so um it it it's too a little too wide for the body so I had to go in there and do some cutting just to get it to fit down so the body would sit down the right height um but my theme, I think what I want to do is just do a, I'm going to make out, you know, this will be like a steel body, not a fiberglass, I think. I ain't 100% sure, honestly. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. I, I don't exactly know yet what the body is going to be like, but it's going to be the entire body with the hood. And it's going to have a grill in it. I don't know if it'll be the stock grill or if I'll do something, uh, try to make something custom. But it, it, I like the wheelbase not being centered with the tires. I like that because I'm going to take the wheel wells. You see, I kind of sharpied it a little bit. And I'm going to open the wheel wells up really big and up front and rear and just make this a radical mud truck. But um, it's super cool. I can't, can't wait to start doing, um, getting the chassis print, print out. This chassis here is good. But to print out um, all the other parts that are, that print right because let me tell you what guys uh, a 3d printer they just don't work when you start you got to like fine-tune that thing and uh, again thanks to my friend BJ that uh, sent me that printer if I could I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for him so thank you BJ really appreciate you but um, yeah this is gonna be cool all like I just super glued this whole thing together last night just so I could, uh, like I say, mock it up. It's just sitting on these sanding pads. But um, I'm going to have to extend the, make some wheel hubs that are a little bit, a um, little bit wider, because the tires, like if it's, this was real life, you wouldn't, have, you never would have the tires that close to the body, because it couldn't steer. So I'm going to make some some hubs where the the axles are a little wider, where the wheels will come out a little wider. I think they would call those like champagnes or something on a monster truck. But anyway, 
the spindle but I'm going to have a uh, extended hub out so the wheels will be a little bit farther out and um, the engine is not sitting in there like it's supposed to it's just kind of sitting there right now it's, it's loose Oop, sorry out of focus of course of course it's out of focus but he also when he designed this uh, engine um, designed it where the uh, C6 will mate right up to the transfer case he also made a custom set of headers so it will fit down in the chassis. Um, yeah, this is going to be so fun. I can't wait to get it uh, start to come, get it to coming together. But one thing that I, I, I think I do want to use uh, because this is um, a, a kit that I built as a kid and it's the bootlegger and all that good stuff. I want to let me grab them. Sorry. Sorry, don't get drunk on me from the camera moving. But I do think, regardless of what um, I do with the paint, I think I do want to incorporate bootlegger on the side of it. So I think to stick to stay with that, hopefully these decals are still good. But anyway, I still would like to use the bootlegger and uh, call it the bootlegger and the bootlegger mud truck. I've thought maybe trying to get some custom decals designed or something like that. Um, don't know yet, but I do think I do want to, I do think I do. I do think I'm going to use the bootlegger on the uh, on the side here. I don't know if I'm going to weather it or if it's going to be shiny or or what. And I probably will open the back up. That the doors will probably be off, uh, so it'll be an open. Um, I think I, I've not made my mind up. Um, I'll be taking out like the quarter, the quarter glass or the vent glass um, posts. And in the windshield, I'll try to make a windshield. You know how those mud trucks will have some holes or whatever cut in there so the driver can see out. I think that would look cool too. But yeah, that's it. Just a quick, and I just hogged out my hood. Luckily, if I messed up the hood, it's the same hood as the trucks and all those. So I have, I have plenty of spares. So uh, I had the shock towers are sticking up higher and they hit the hood. So I have to already had to kind of hog that out but I'm not sure if I'll have to if I this hood may end up being like oh I don't want to use that so I might have to change the hood out but that's okay um but anyway let me know what you think I think it's going to be cool I think it's going to be so much fun and I am a monster truck fanatic um I always have been and I'm sure I always will be um I, I love I've always just absolutely, oh well that fell off, it's sitting down low, and it's got the Carolina squat a little bit in the back. Maybe I should do that, maybe I should do a Carolina squat uh, monster truck, mud truck, oh, like that. something like that. No, I, I, I don't like that stuff at all. But anyway, um, totally lost my train of thought. Oh, I'm a monster truck fanatic. And uh, whenever I got the printer and I started looking at cults and they had so many neat things not knowing that a lot of it's all solid pieces and, and be a bear to try and de or, uh, to uh, detail paint. But I just love monster trucks. And this is a monster truck. It may not have the 66s, but I think it's going to be just as cool with the mud tires. And those are some cool mud tires. Miguel also, these are the Colt, the ones I downloaded from Colts. But Miguel also has a set of wheels he's designed, wheels and tires. So I may print some of those off. But I love these like Rice and Canton tractor tires. These are already scooped out and everything. It just, yeah, I'm digging it so, so, so much. And I can't wait to uh, get some more parts cut, fitted, get the chassis starting to do. And I want to try and do a little extra detail uh, with this chassis. He also um, printed off a, a uh, floor pan and all that stuff. Seats, floor pan, all those good deals um to go in it so it should be um be i should be able to detail it out pretty pretty good i'd like to do some you know throttle linkages and stuff like that which i hardly ever do any detailing but I, it doesn't have a distributor in it but it is a ford if you'll notice there is a hole in the front for the distributor yes there is so i'll wire it um try to run some fuel lines and and uh I put a fuel tank back here and yeah, it's just going to be a blast, but I don't want to ever forget it's all about this body. I don't want to get caught up in the details of the chassis because it's all about the 55 panel for me. And what better way to do it than to uh, 
hog it out and put a supercharged Ford 460. Oh yeah, um, pretty much. I know there are some other big block Ford engines out there, but pretty much this is it. You can get those others. Um, I don't think Miguel has this up on his site yet, but uh, he's got the, uh, he'll have several variations, tunnel ram variations, single car. I've got the single carburetor one too. Um, fuel injected like this just all kinds of stuff but anyway it's gonna be cool all right guys thanks for watching let me know what you think um should i weather it should i should it be shiny um what should i take the back doors off a lot of your mud trucks and all just due to weight they'll they'll especially if it's a steel body they'll they'll probably have the uh the back doors out so you can see some of that cool roll cage and fuel tank and all that stuff i don't know yet but anyway let me know what you think um I can't wait. It's going to be fun. All right. Hey, don't forget always, as always, go check out hobbynutmodels.com. That's where the paint for all, everything that's going to be on here that's painted, it's going, the paint's coming from, or will be from Hobby Nut Models. I probably have all the paint that I need to paint it with, but go over there to hobbynutmodels.com. Check out Mark's inventory. Grab yourself a kit or a, 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 some paint. Yeah. I don't know where my mind's at right now. I've been tired all day. Yeah. So maybe it's caught up with me. I need to go inside and go to sleep. It's about close to 8, 8 p.m. on Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for my Patreon members. Most importantly, guys, thanks for watching these videos. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. But that just means you watch the video, and that's what counts. All right, guys, take care. And uh, hopefully I'll get a little pro more progress done. Get a roll cage built for it that will properly fit and yeah this thing's gonna be cool all right guys take care we'll see you